the more stuff we can get rid of, the more space we'll have. Other things happening, we have confirmed that we are gonna stay with Oliver's sister. $1,600 in medical bills from that visit to the hospital. I'm like breaking out super bad because I'm stressed out, I'm assuming. So we were three weeks out from our move out date, but now we're about four weeks out because of the whole weirdness with when we can move out, which you guys should already know about or you'll hear about soon. But I wanted to just talk through my decluttering plan. When I moved up to DC, I was able to rent a U-Haul for like $500. Now the same U-Haul to move back down to Florida would cost like $1,700, so like $1,200 more. So we're not doing that because that's ridiculous. And now we have a car. Our thought was to get a trailer, hitch it on the back of the SUV and drive back with that. Well, apparently a one-way trailer from U-Haul, the largest size is about $1,200, which is ridiculous because trailers don't have mileage. It's literally just tires, you know? I thought of this idea where basically we go get the trailer from Florida. We do a in-town move or a round trip where we will return the trailer to the same spot we picked it up, which is about $30 per day for the trailer. So what that means is we have to get our car packed up, get the cat, drive down to Florida, unpack the car, leave the cat there, go pick up the trailer from a U-Haul location in Florida, drive it back up to DC, pack the entire thing up and then bring it back to Florida, unpack it, and then return it to the same U-Haul location. If we do it that way, it's $30 per day. Then of course you have like the insurance, taxes and fees, but those would be on anything from U-Haul, whether the trailer or a U-Haul truck. So ignoring those, the quickest we could do it would be like four days. So it'd be $120 instead of 1,700 for a U-Haul truck or 1,200 for the trailer one way. So even though we have to go back and forth with the car, an extra whole round trip, the gas is still gonna be way less than $1,000. So it's worth it for us to do that. Since we're taking the trailer and not the U-Haul truck, the trailer is very small. It is 12 feet by six feet by five and a half feet. So there's not a lot of space. We have a lot of stuff. So I'm trying to hardcore declutter. I was already planning on decluttering, but now it's looking like we're gonna have to declutter more than I expected to declutter. I have started our decluttering plan, but I wanted to basically just kind of talk through what we're doing. Plan is to declutter as much of our stuff that we can. Then with our mattresses, I'm gonna get like vacuum space saver mattress bags to make the mattresses really small because we have two mattresses. And then also use vacuum space saver bags for all of the linens we have in the entire house. Other plan is that any dressers, drawers, anything like that, they're gonna be fully stuffed with items. We're not emptying them out like I would have if we had more space and then packing that stuff into boxes. So with that being said, the more stuff we can get rid of, the more space we'll have in like crevices of dressers and stuff like that. All I've done so far is the bathroom, which I got rid of some stuff and I found a lot of items that are like almost empty that I'm trying to use up before we move. So I don't have to bring that stuff with us. Got rid of a lot of expired skincare and stuff like that and really just consolidated everything into like a few drawers so I could really see what we have in a compact amount of space. And then a lot of that stuff would be great to pack into drawers of dressers and stuff like that if needed because Again, all the linens, all the clothes, we're going to vacuum seal and then either put in boxes or dressers or wherever the vacuum sealed bags fit. Today, I'm going to continue the decluttering process. I have like a few hours before I have to go to a cat sitting job. So I'm going to first do the TV console, all the drawers in here. There's quite a bit of random stuff in these drawers, but a lot of it is like gaming stuff. So I'm gonna go through that and get rid of whatever I can and try to consolidate. And then the other things I want to declutter today are my desk area because I have like a lot of these like little shelves over here. It's really not that much stuff. It's really just the shelves and then like there's some stuff on the top. It's probably less decluttering to do with the desk and more just consolidating and, and seeing if there's any duplicates of things because I have a lot of other computer type desk stuff in the spare closet in the guest room which I will be decluttering one day soon as well. The other thing I want to declutter today if I have time is the armoire. So this is mainly full of like baking stuff and like coffee and 
tea making stuff, but I want to go through that and probably get rid of a lot of tea or at least get rid of the boxes and just put all the tea bags in like a big plastic baggie, figure out if there's any mugs I can get rid of. Unfortunately, I'm thinking we're going to have to sell this or donate it if we can't sell it before we go, because that is like the biggest furniture item that I own besides like the couch and there's no way to collapse it in any way. So really, if we have that and the couch, that's going to take up a ton of the trailer already. I have good news. We have since confirmed that March 3rd will be our move out date. Other things happening, we have confirmed that we are going to stay with Oliver's sister for this, I don't know how long, till at some point. Basically until we decide to get an apartment, she allowed us to stay with her, which is really sweet, her and her husband, and they have a sweet little baby. I love Emmeline so much, so I'm really excited and it's going to be super fun, so that is where we will be staying when we first move to Florida, as well as like staying with my mom here and there as well. My mom also offered for us to stay with her. Boba's gonna be staying with my mom because Chloe, Oliver's sister, and her family, they have two dogs, so. And I think her husband's allergic to cats, so either way. <laughs> Boba's gonna stay with my mom because she'll have like the whole house and she'll be by herself. And yeah, so I think that'll be good, but it'll definitely be an adjustment, but we're trying to figure out, my mom actually, has a lot of space in her garage and she said that there's potential that we might be able to store all of our stuff in her garage for a little bit and if that's the case then we don't have to deal with paying for a storage unit so that would be super great and we'll keep our moving expenses even lower since we are going to be staying with someone for a bit and not moving directly into a new apartment so yeah, i'm looking forward to just getting out of here and being done it is already almost halfway through february we are going away for the third weekend in february we're going to get back and there's going to be like 10 days left till we move it's going to just it's going to go by so fast i'll talk to you in a few days or sooner we'll see you guys have been around for a while then you'll know that i had a what ended up being a panic attack is what we're deciding now <laughs> when i was down in florida visiting family over like my birthday time frame last year and i tried to go to a walk-in clinic and they wouldn't see me and so i ended up having to go to the er that was like my only option to get checked out and make sure everything was fine because at the time we had no idea if it was a panic attack or not. Anyways, if you've been around, you'll know that I ended up having like $1,600 in medical bills from that visit to the hospital. And I did not have health insurance. I did not sign up for health insurance after I left my job because we didn't have money to be able to afford health insurance. And we're both very healthy. So we weren't super concerned about not having health insurance for a few months. Of course, you know, you say that and then some weird crazy thing happens where like I decide to go to the ER, right? So I had $1,600 in medical bills. And in a previous vlog, I talked about the fact that I ended up getting the ER bill. So there was two separate bills, an ER bill and then a physician's bill for the physician that saw me at the ER. The ER bill was about $1,000 if I'm remembering correctly. And I was able to get that completely taken off. After explaining my entire situation and giving them all of our financial information, basically, they decided to give us financial assistance and take that off. It's not like government assistance. It's like a foundation or like a scholarship is what I consider it in my head. So that was totally taken care of. After that, I'd been in contact with the physician. That was like a 600 something dollar bill. I didn't update you guys that after talking with them, same thing. I had to give a whole explanation as well as like fill out a ton of forms for that. I think I talked about that in a vlog. I finally heard back and they reduced my bill by 80%. So my bill for that ended up being about $130, which I was able to pay with my HSA that I had from my job. So I did have like a little bit of money in a health savings account, which covered that bill, which was awesome. And I explained to them, of course, like I have this health savings account. This is how much I have, whatever. So yeah, I went from having a $1,600 medical bill to $130, which is amazing. And a huge weight lifted off. So I just wanted to update you guys because I just got like the final notice in the mail about that. And I'm super relieved and glad that that's behind me and paid off and taken care of because that was definitely weighing on me a lot. Of course, there's a lot of other financial things weighing on me right now, but <laughs> everything in terms of the move has been very much figured out, which is really nice. I have everything scheduled. The only thing I don't have figured out actually is a storage unit for when we get to Florida but we're trying to figure out if we're able to fit everything in my mom's garage or not. So that's why I haven't scheduled that or purchased that yet, but everything else has been purchased. In one of my financial update videos, I'll tell you how much everything ended up costing, but we definitely are doing it on a budget and it's going well so far.
far. So I think it's going to end up not being too bad. We are two weeks out from our move date, so it's coming up really fast. I'm trying to get everything figured out before we go, canceling all like the electric stuff, like internet. I did like my change of address request through USPS. Like I've been doing all of the admin bull crap behind the scenes today. So I feel really relieved that all of that is like taken care of. And this weekend we're going to go visit our family down in Southwest Virginia, like four hour drive because after, you know, this month we're not going to live close anymore and be able to drive in four hours. It takes way longer to drive from Florida. So we're going to go visit them one last time, which will be really nice. I'm trying to allow myself to enjoy that and not be stressed about the trip. Right now I'm feeling very stressed because I feel very behind, but I haven't been feeling the greatest the past few days. I think I'm just honestly getting really overwhelmed and stressed and like burning myself out by working too hard. So I took Sunday and Monday off. Yesterday was Valentine's Day. I did some work because I had cat sitting jobs and stuff, but like I had been working like 10 hours per day doing just like all my stuff, you know? So I kind of allowed myself to chill the past two days and today I allowed myself to sleep in and I slept in till like noon almost or something crazy. So yeah, I definitely am feeling not great, but I'm hoping I can get better before a trip this weekend. The other nice thing that's going on is I was really, I'm still very stressed about whether or not everything's actually gonna fit in the trailer. And I talked to the moving people today because we're hiring just people to help us load the moving truck, which it's $160 for two people for two hours basically. So that'll be a load off because packing it is gonna be a pain, mainly because obviously we're going all the way from our apartment all the way down to the loading dock and into the trailer, as well as we need to have the trailer packed in a certain way because you have to have it like front loaded instead of back loaded and like all this stuff. And like, I, that's just like too much for my brain, like the day of moving, you know, I would rather just have someone else take care of it as well as they'll do it way faster, of course, and have like supplies like dollies and stuff. So I won't have to like rent dollies and everything to move everything. But basically I talked to the guy today to schedule like the timing and everything. And something he said that was super nice was he said that he's packed the trailer that we have reserved from U-Haul before like multiple times and he said if I send him like a list of what we have and like pictures of some things he can let us know like if he thinks everything is gonna fit which is super nice because I was trying to figure out how I can like visualize and do that myself and I was just getting overwhelmed thinking about that so very nice that he's gonna handle that once we get that confirmation and once we go to U-Haul and get our hitch inspected to make sure that our car can like pull the trailer God forbid the car can't pull the trailer. From what I've read, it can. We just need to make sure our specific hitch works and everything is good. And we might have to upgrade the hitch if they say it's not gonna work. I'm not really sure, but I need to go drive to U-Haul next week and do that so that we're able to pick up our trailer down in Florida in a few weeks. <sighs> That's everything, guys. It's been just a day of admin stuff. I really need a coffee. I'm making some food right now. I'm having leftover salad from last night and then I'm having some leftover pizza, like of a frozen pizza I had a few days ago. And I might make myself a nice iced something. I'm not really sure yet. Tonight I'm hoping I can go to bed early and just take a sleeping pill if I have to because my schedule is so messed up right now. I have to fix it before this weekend because they wake up super early in Virginia. So <laughs> gotta figure that out, but. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Wow. it's right here when I'm wearing a white shirt. Whew. Anyways, I am just popping on to show you guys the status of everything going on. So we got lots of boxes over here as well as a ton of paper to wrap up breakables. So we have boxes here. We have all of our vacuum storage bags here for the mattresses and then just for like clothes and stuff. I got the Amazon brand and the Space Saver brand. So I'm gonna try both of those out. I've like read conflicting reviews on both. Some say the Amazon worked better than the Space Saver and some say the Space Saver worked better than the Amazon. So I just bought both and then I'm gonna test them out. I'll start with the Amazon because they were cheaper. If those are working for me, then I'm just gonna return the Space Saver ones. But if they don't work, then I will obviously return those and use the Space Savers. And hopefully one of those works. <laughs> I just don't wanna be like out of vacuum bags and none of them work. Then over here, we have a ton more boxes. So we have like all different sizes in here. And then lastly, over here, we have these like mirror boxes and like picture boxes or whatever. I don't know if I'm gonna use these or not, but they're here. They had some at the place we were getting the boxes from. So I figured why not? We can at least put some frames in there and stuff. I feel like there's a lot of wasted space with these boxes 
because I don't have all pictures that are all 40 by 60 inches. So I'm just not really sure how useful that would be. I kind of wish we got a bigger one for our TV because we don't have anything to put this TV in and I am worried about the TV, but I think they had one too, which is why I'm mad at myself for not getting that. And then lastly, the other thing we have is the wardrobe boxes that you can put hanging clothes in. I, again, I don't even think we're gonna use these because they waste a lot of space and I don't think we have room to waste that space. But a thought I did have about those is that we can use those and you like put like a railing on the top of it and I'm thinking we can use that to store all of our hangers so like I can fill those boxes with stuff and then hang all the hangers on the top because the thing is I'm planning on taking all of our clothes off the hangers and using all vacuum storage bags to store all of our clothes because it's gonna like really condense things down so we can just use the rail to hang the hangers because like hangers are really hard to box up in boxes so I think that will be a perfect way to like fill up the box all the way into like the spot where the hangers need to lay and then put the hangers on the rails. So I think that should be fine and that'll be like the best use of our space, but I'm like breaking out super bad because I'm stressed out, I'm assuming. I am currently trying to work on decluttering the office area, like the guest closet in the guest room. So I have like these three storage bins with just like a bunch of junk in them. So I'm gonna go through all of that and get rid of the stuff that we don't need in these. I need to like finish going through this whole closet that just filled with junk. This is like all like extra decor, like stuff for boba, extra towels, stuff like that. So I need to like go through all of this. And then I have like a ton of other areas of the apartment that I wanna declutter today. So I'm gonna try to, get as much decluttering done as possible but like I just have 50,000 things I need to do. I also want to sit down at my computer and make a schedule. I'm also supposed to potentially have an interview today for this part-time job I'm going to be working remotely so I have like 50 things happening right now and it's just going to be a crazy week. We'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm. 